We are live. Welcome to day eight. And today I'm going to talk about our nervous system, nervous system healing, nervous system balancing, because this is the reason why so many people feel stuck with their body, with their life. It's healing the nervous system. It, that's the key to unlocking everything that you have been searching for. So I'm doing these 12 days of mindset shifts to share with you some of the biggest perception shifts, mindset shifts, ways of thinking, patterns of thinking that have helped transform me and the clients that I'm working with to finally get to a place where their body can feel safe enough to lose weight, to heal some of the chronic symptoms like not sleeping well, digestion being off, all these things that your doctor's kind of like, eh, you know, that happens as we get older. You just don't have as much energy. There's nothing really wrong with you. It has more to do with our nervous system being out of balance than anything. And there aren't as many tools out there uh, to help yet. This is becoming more and more a bigger topic because it's working. So your body wants to be in balance, guys. It wants to find this place of homeostasis where everything's working together. So all of our systems, our digestive systems, um, system, our hormones, our mood, our breathing, they all work together. And they want to be in this pattern of synchronization. They want to be cohesive. They want to be working together. But we keep knocking them out of balance. And then one gets knocked out of balance and now it affects the other. And then pretty soon the whole system gets out of balance. And what controls all of these is our nervous system. And so we're meant to, there's two states of the nervous system. There's the parasympathetic, the rest and digest. Maybe you've heard of these before. And we're meant to live there. We're meant to live in that rest and digest most of the time. However, we're doing the opposite. We're living in this sympathetic fight or flight, chronically stressed, turned on, where the body keeps trying to mobilize energy, get its resources together to prepare for a fight, to run, to uh, battle whatever they need. we need to battle. To the body, it doesn't differentiate the kind of stress, whether that's chemical, physical, or emotional stress. I talked about this the other day. To the body, it all has one response, the same response, mobilize energy, prepare the physical body for running, for moving. The reason we have so many of these chronic lifestyle diseases, so many weird symptoms, so many people struggling with obesity that cannot lose weight is because we're stuck in that fight or flight response. Our nervous system is just locked there. It's turned on. And your body's been just producing all this, these stress chemicals, producing all this energy, mobilizing all these resources until it runs out. But we still have the stressors. We still have to run to your body. This is life threatening. So now it has to find those resources from somewhere. This is where digestion starts to slow. This is where our hormone production starts to diminish. This is where our sleep starts to suffer because your body doesn't feel safe. Over time, this progressively gets worse. And what we do is we start to normalize it. So we begin to feel as our stress levels rise because it's chronic, because we're always stuck here, this starts to feel normal. And then we add more stress and then this just starts to feel normal. And so for so many people, they don't even realize how good they can feel if they did this work. If they learned how to shift their mindset, change their perceptions, uh, to be able to shift their behaviors, to lose weight, to feel safe, to heal their symptoms. Some of the symptoms that you'll see with a dysregulated nervous system are like weight loss resistance. No matter what you do, you can't seem to lose weight. Being chronically overwhelmed, where you just can't do one more thing, you just can't take it, there's no time. Where we have chronic pain, where our sleep is dysregulated, we're sensitive to light or noise or just anything. We can't take one more stressor going on. We can't concentrate. We're having food cravings. 
a weakened immune system where you're getting sick more often, skin issues, your skin is breaking out, gut issues, hormone imbalance, low energy during the day. These are all symptoms of a dysregulated nervous system. And when this goes on long enough, we move into this place of freeze where now we are just so paralyzed with anxiety and fear and overwhelm that we cannot change because change requires energy and you just don't have it no matter how badly you want things to change. And I think one of the biggest misconceptions I know for me this was is what causes this stress. So we tend to think of traffic, money problems, relationship problems, work, being a caretaker. We think of all of these things as stress and they are, they're a type of a stress, but they're not the main stress that's keeping us stuck. The main stress is our response to these things. It's the stories that we're telling ourselves. It's the thoughts that we're having about these things. So take money, for example, you can be struggling financially. And when you are, what do we do? We focus on that. We have worry, we have anxiety, we're constantly worried about how we're going to pay our bills, we're thinking about this, and you get what you focus on. So when we're stuck in this place of worrying about our money problems, we don't have enough, this feeling of lack, anxiety, then we're not in a place where we can come up with solutions for that problem. When we're stuck in our problems, we don't see solutions to the problems. The fear and anxiety take us over. It keeps our nervous system locked on, where again, all we're focused on is the problem. We cannot see a solution. We've got to learn to pause, to breathe, to have tools to help regulate our nervous system, bring us more into the parasympathetic so that we can focus on the problem. So that, I mean, I'm sorry, focus on the solution. So we can see what our options are and then pick one and, and move in that direction. Learning to heal the nervous system allows you to get out of the state of where we're, where we're sick, where we're not healing, where we're chronically overwhelmed. And it brings you into a state where you see solutions, where your body's more calm and relaxed, where our systems are balanced and working together again. So if you want to learn how to balance the nervous system, how to sleep better, how to digest your food better, so you spend more time excited for your day and less time feeling super overwhelmed, then that's exactly why I put the coaching program together that's launching one week from today. Send me, Drop me a comment. Send me a message. I would love to chat with you and see what's going on. The tools that I've put together here are simple and they're systematic and it's not like a thing to do it's a way to be it's a way to live so that we're not just stuck repeating the same things in all of our problems and we can actually move into a place where we can find the solutions tomorrow i'm going to talk more about our identity and how we can get addicted to being ourself, how we get addicted to these stress chemicals, this stress response, why it's so hard to change, why so many people desperately want to change and can't seem to actually do it. We're going to talk more about that tomorrow. So guys, have a great day. Much love. We'll see you then.